So I thought that I've got a brilliant idea to mix wood and bamboo and resin together and oh boy this one gave me a headache and I had so many downfalls with this one and I'll share with you all of them that all the things that happened and all the repairs that I made. I just gave the tenant uh, a slight angle with a skew so it will hold better in the chuck, that's all. There are some cracks in the end of the wood, so I'll, I'll, let me see if I can uh, get rid of it by cutting a small piece of, of the wood. So I'm using a parting tool. It's the quickest way to do it. When I parted it, is some of the bark came off, so I decided to remove most of the bark before I start working with it. I was worried that it will fly into my face. Even that I've got a mask, it's not nice to get a piece of bark into your face. I'm drilling a hole deep all the way to the almost to the end, and then I'm creating a vessel out of it, after those piece of wood for the. To put in the bamboo and here I made like a rocky rookie mistake I put the tennis ball but I didn't put the revolving center so it was holding on on the shaft like enough it's a tennis ball we didn't do any damage but that's a rookie mistake I'm trying to get maximum uh, depth and maximum width on on this piece of wood so I'll be able to put as much as possible um, bamboos inside um, so I, I'm increasing it with uh, I'm using uh, the black line tools and the, the round and the um, v-shape one to clean it inside I cut few bamboos all the way to the joint for the with the length of the of the piece of wood that I have, and now on on a on a bar on a threaded bar, I'm cleaning the inside of the of the um, of the bamboo stick, and the outside I, I cleaned it with alcohol, and now what I do I'm using a, a syringe and a, um, a needle. Uh, to put the resin in and I put it all I'm trying to put it into an angle and I'm putting the resin onto the side of the um, of the bamboo and I'm going to put few colors in the vessel I put a whitish color uh, resin I try to get similar color of the wood uh, I wouldn't say it was a big success and now I'm putting all the pieces of bamboo that I fold up with different colors I'm going to put it inside um, in, into this vessel and then I'm going to put it into the uh, pressure pot overnight. I'm filling it up all the way to the end with the same resin color like the sides and then it goes to the pressure pot. I've got one bamboo. That is very curious to see what's happening all the time and he's all the time coming up and looking what is he doing put him down back again and he's still very interested to see what's happened and now it goes to the pressure pot and in the very famous immortal words of jack swagger from apollo 13 houston we have a problem and the problem is that this, the pressure pot is too small. So I had to leave it 48 hours covered, but outside without the pressure pot. I hope it's all right because the bubbles, I don't think I managed to get rid of the bubbles. A quick drawing of my design. The, the idea is that the bottom, it will be like a heavy, heavy part of the base and then I'm going to go for a very thin uh, um, swan neck all the way to the end and in the end I'll have 
an opening like a flower and only I'll drill it in the middle to put a, uh, a, a glass tube um, so I can put flowers inside. That's the basic idea and the reason why I want to go to a very thin a swan neck is that because of the bamboos that I have, sorry the bamboo I have with different colors, it, the, the different colors will, the idea is that the different colors you can see all of them in a, different angles and I hope it will work this way. Now you can see the basic shape, it, it starts to get some basic shape and now you can start seeing the colors. Now you can see a little, little bit of colors of the bamboo but I can start seeing some problems and one of the problems is that I don't have um, the resin didn't go all the way through. Now I'm drilling the 25 mil hole for the, for the tube that goes inside. Now I can start seeing that we, I think I have a problem. Um, there is some cracks, but not so bad ones. So let I said to myself, let me see if I can clean it up a little bit. And then things start flying all over the show. And, and, and I had, but that was quick. When I stopped, I discovered that few pieces of bamboo flew and look at this horrible crack that I've got there. At this stage, I didn't know what to do. I decided, uh, to parting the this pieces of uh, of bamboo and then the whole thing just I, I don't know if it was a mistake doing it this way maybe I had to use a, a saw but it's done it's done and you can see that the bamboo it's not sticking to the resin and I, I don't know if it was because of I didn't clean it enough or whatever so I decided to change the idea of the of the this, this design I cut it off till till the place that I had some more resin left and um, I'll start thinking of, on my feet what else I can do, what other design I'm going to make. Stick around to the end of, the, of, of this video and over there I'll show you all the mistakes that I made and all the solution that for the, for the future, all the solution that I've got for it not to happen again. So after I finish that, I will have like five, two, three or four minutes explanation and trying to get the, the mistakes, um, explain the mistakes and trying to get my idea how I'm going to change it. Now bamboo uh, cracks very easily and it also have like a lot of um, particles and coming out and it's very difficult to get rid of them so what I've done is I increased the speed to about 2000 and here you can see the, the pieces that's missing resin and I'll have to think what I'm going to do over there um, and I'm going to change also the base of the of this uh, vase to like look like a more round ball the bases and I'll see what I can do with the top and I'll try something else and if it's not going to work, uh, probably it will go into the pile of, um, of scrap. And I decided to do the what I, uh, I use sometimes, and that's the casting gel with some um, pearl, uh, pearl powder. And uh, this, one, this one dries in 24 hours and, it's, and, it's, and goes everywhere and it's not so soft so i've got the time just to apply it try to fill up all the all the um, all the cracks and all the holes and i'll let it 24 hours uh, to dry and that was 24 hours later and the only idea the idea that i've got here is just to take off the casting gel all the way to the wood but without use without touching the wood so i won't take too much out of the support of the casting gel I increase the speed of the um, of the light to 2000 and I'm using the V-shape like a skew 
and, and that will take um, that will take off all the splinters from the bamboo. And now, I'm ch like I said, I'm changing the design in the back and I'm making it like a ball with a small with a small neck. I'm going to sandpaper it from 150 all the way to 600. And then I'm going to use Yorkshire grid um, to clean it up. I had a little bit of a hesitation what I'm going to use as the final, uh, final product. Um, and I decided I'm going to use um, Hampshire Shin, the original Hampshire Shin, and try to give a little bit of a life to this dull piece of wood. And it gives it a little bit of light and you can see in all the old cracks, you can see that this um, resin came in. Now I'm going to drill a collar of about 28 millimeters just to give it a flange to the sides. And now I'm going to drill all the way um, 25 mil for the tube to go in. And the reason why I drilled it at the beginning a little bit thicker, 26, 27, is that this way I can flange it to the sides a little bit because I was worried that if I'll do it from straight from the thickness it will crack, uh, the, the, the bamboo will crack, so slowly slowly. I had to be here very careful, if I put a little bit of pressure this thing will, will break into pieces. I think that between the drill and the, and the tube was a milli short, so I'm just cleaning it in a little bit so the tube will fall in nicely. Remember to tighten up the tool rest, otherwise it will happen exactly what happened to me. The tool rest moved and the parting tool gone straight through and left a mark over there. So I can't just repair it. So what I decided to do is I decided to make some more marks and make it as a, as a feature out of it. Um, I thought that that would be the quickest uh, way to do it. Don't forget in the end I'm going to summarize all my mistakes and I'm going to also show you or tell you what I think, how can I fix those mistakes into the future and what's my solution for those mistakes of mine. Hey, so let me summarize. Uh, I'll tell you all the mistakes. You saw all the mistakes that I made. Um, the idea was totally different from to this one. Okay. It came out nice. I can't say it's not nice. Um, the tube goes inside here. And I can put water in the tube, a flower. And it came out. I put my logo. It came out nice. Was it my... Was this thing my um idea no it was not was this my this original design no it wasn't but i had one after another mistakes and i'll tell you now what were my mistakes and where do i think i can fix it in the next time so mistake number one was that some of the resin didn't stick to the the white resin didn't stick to the bamboo I think I didn't polish, I didn't clean properly with alcohol and I didn't 
maybe I have to uh, in the future I'll sandpaper the bamboo from the outside. Uh, so maybe it will stick better to the to the um, resin. If any one of you got a better idea, help me here. Give me your idea. Second one, some of the resin didn't stick on the inside, even that I cleaned it and I polished it inside. And I think that was the were bubble, even that I used the injection, a needle to try to get it all the way down without having bubbles. What's my solution for the next time? I'm telling you what, what will be my solution. That's only for the thin bamboo, not for the thick bamboo. Thick bamboo won't have this problem. The thin bamboo, I think for next time, I'll cut it both sides. So it will be totally hollow with hole on both sides. And with the syringe, I'll put it on one side and uh, the other side I'll put in a bottle, uh, I'll put in a cup with the, with the resin, and then I'll vacuum it up till it gets to the end. Then I'll put the finger on top so it doesn't leak, and on the, the finger at the bottom so it does not leak, and I'll close it on top with putty, turn it around, clean the bamboo, put them aside. That will be the second one. The third one is, I think to go thin with bamboo and resin, it's a mistake. Maybe there is a technique to do it. I don't know how. I will see in another project that I'll do, another try, is that bamboo splits very easy. Very, very easy. So when you drill it, or when you cut it through, they split and they break. So to go thin with it, it's not, Everywhere that I got very thin, it cracked. Everywhere I gone thick, it came out beautiful. Beautiful. So, thank you very much for watching. And ah, in the end, when you put super glue, try not to drop your uh, logo because you will you will try to pick it up with the super glue, and I'll just super glue my finger. That's right. The end. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my video, of course, subscribe write uh, comments, thumbs up, and if you want, it will help me a lot, share it in your uh, social media, so I'll have more people watching it and I can help other people. I hope you enjoyed it. It didn't come out so bad, and I'll see you in my next video.